eher ganz, ganz souverän und den großen Preis von Australien diktiert. Hat die anderen in die Schranken gewiesen auch. Max Verstappen, als sein Auto noch intakt war, hatte nicht den Funken einer Chance gegen den Monegassen. Vierter Sieg in der Karriere, zweiter in dieser Saison. So that was the big race, the Grand Prix of Melbourne, Australia. And I was really hoping Max Verstappen would win, because he's a Dutchman like me, but his car broke down halfway around the race, or a bit towards the ending, and Charles Leclerc won. Great race nonetheless, no hard feelings. And now I'm gonna go outside to the forest, because first reason, I love the forest. Second reason, it's a great day outside. My last video was also in this forest and it was raining. It basically looked like this. And this. And I also said that the rain would be like kickstart spring, like spring would happen basically after it rained. And look at that now. Spring is finally here. So I'm actually at the forest for two reasons today. One is I love forest. Number two is this forest is actually quite new to me. Like, and that's pretty weird because I really like forests. And it's also really close to where I live. It's like two kilometers or six minutes by bus. I basically live right there. That's this one. So yeah, it's really close and also really close to the city. It's a beautiful forest, I really like it. And today I want to explore um, a different part of the forest where I not have just been yet. Uh, it should be right over there. Let's go. I really don't know how big this forest actually is. I don't think you can walk around for hours, but it's definitely a nice break from the city. And you know, it's a really beautiful forest. Got this nice little river running through it. And the part that I'm going to explore is, it's way over there. Or way over there, it's probably not way over there, more like 10 minutes over there. And I'm excited to see what it looks like. There's also a hut of some sort in this forest. It looks really professional. I don't think children built this one. This is the hut from outside. I'm also wearing the wrong shoes today, unfortunately. I should have brought my other ones, like my hiking boots. I didn't know it was going to be this muddy. And this should be the right way to the other side of the forest. And the unfortunate thing is that I can't really check because for some reason I don't have any phone connection up here in this forest, which is weird because the city is right there. I really don't know, but it should be the right way. So I finished walking the path that I pointed out earlier and now we're at someone's house. That's the house. So I clearly cannot continue walking this path, but they have a really nice tree. That's the nice tree. So there's at least that. I really hope this this is the right one. This forest is actually a lot bigger than I thought it was. You know, I, again, I cannot check on the map as I usually do because I still don't have any phone connection. But I don't really know where I am at the moment, but it looks amazing, so I'm not complaining. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's like this yellow house there with the mountains behind it. It's a really cool view. I really want to go up there and make the photo like of the house and the mountains in the background, of course. But today is a really clear day. You can really, really see the mountains around the city, which is not always the case due to yeah, pollution and stuff. But I really want to go up there and, and take that photo. 
Well now I'm definitely not on the right path anymore. I really don't know where I am exactly, but the road is right there, so it should be fine. But this is a little bit sketchy. A little little bit. And this is this is the path. I found the path. And I think there's actually more forest up there, but I'm just gonna save that for another time. Maybe a new video. I really want to take this photo right now of the yellow house and the mountains behind it. I don't know, I need to find it. Where am I? Glad to say that I found my way back. I found my way out of the forest. But to leave the forest, I need to walk on this. This does not look safe whatsoever. Who built this? It's really not safe to walk on this, but I guess I made it. And now the objective is to find the yellow house with the mountains in the background. And I really hope that I know where it is, because I don't feel like searching for it for a very long time. And this is the yellow house. It looks a lot better from up the hill, because there are obviously no mountains in the background. There's a lot of clouds. But I do want to go around there, because I think I can photograph some mountains at least anyway. And as it turns out, all these roads are private roads, so I cannot walk up any of them. It's illegal. So I'm just gonna go home for now and get some rest and something to eat. But wait, before you click away, I actually know a spot where we can take photos of the mountains. I'm going there right now for a sunset. I'm actually way too early on location, but the conditions look very promising. I think I'm gonna get some cool shots.